I tell you guys this all the time. If you can say you want to fight somebody, you know, but do you really want to? Fight fans, welcome back. His fight IQ is nuts. He's not the most athletic, he's the smartest fighter. Today, we look to the future, to a collision of titans featuring the two most dangerous men to walk the face of the earth. He can't make any mistakes. He's too powerful. Their methods to inflict brutality differ, but their end result is much the same. Go to wow. sleep. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Trouble here. That's it. This is the scariest man in the history of the sport. A battle-weary king with one last chip on his shoulder oh faces a super mutant a giant ball of fast twitch muscle paired with a desperation to win that can only be formed in the third world. And if he is knocked out on that canvas, I'll take your other nominations! <laughs> World-class wrestling meets ferocious boxing in this quintessential heavyweight showdown. Hit him with a left hook and picked him off his feet. John Jones versus Francis Ngannou. If he can't knock him out, though, there's no way he beats him. Welcome to a Motivedia presentation. But um, if I don't get knocked out, I believe I win that fight. I just gotta get through round one, and I win that fight. He blitzes you, and once he gets his hands on these guys, they just go out. He's so big, he's so powerful, he's so explosive. A tale as old as time. From nothing comes a king. Heavyweight champion of the world. Mike Tyson is his hero. Well, he's the Mike Tyson of mixed martial arts. You know there's guys out there Hungry, just like you now. Guys who are afraid of you when you were contender, but now you're champion, they're not afraid of you no more. They want to eat you alive. Your Francis Ngannou's natural talents are clear to even the most casual of viewers. Goodness like gracious! Incredible strength make him dangerous in any facet of the fight game. Any mistakes, you can't be there when the punches. Oh. His most recent fight proved he isn't just a power puncher. He snatched the heavyweight title from an all-time great in Stipe Miocic by using an educated jab and demonstrating remarkable improvements to his takedown defense. Improved takedown defense by Ngannou. Wow! That earth-bending power certainly helped too. Francis the Predator! The fight was the culmination of everything Francis seeks to represent. Getting up when life pushes you down to conquer any challenge that stands before you. Even though I've been fighting winning fight, I had this thing inside of me that I never released it. Uh, since this was like a promise that I, make, I made to myself and to prove the doubter and people that thought that I was beneath them that um, if ever I have an opportunity, I'll do something great and that's what I'm here for. I'm working through the greatness. Ngannou's journey began in misery, in the salt mines of Cameroon, shoveling dirt. And we had to, like, do something, you know, we had to work to contribute. An abusive father back home and no money for a traditional education. I didn't like, like my life, and uh, I always feel like I miss my childhood, like, because uh, it's been so much um, frustration. Yeah. Hard lessons in toughness, optimism, and above all else, self-belief. must develop very strong from doing something like that. At 10 years old, yeah. I mean, it must have made you really f***ing strong. This belief in himself eventually brought him to the streets of France, albeit homeless and destitute. First day, he told me, you have good potential, but in France, MMA is better. And then I say, what is MMA? On account of his physical ability, Ngannou was eventually invited to train at an MMA gym free of charge. Then the guy turned on me and said, why are you laughing? And I was like, this guy is not average guy. This guy is going to be a champion. Before long, he was brutalizing the amateur circuit with unrefined fire not seen before or since. <laughs> It didn't take long for the UFC contract to arrive. And with it, the cost of heavyweight health insurance rose forever. The Predator Francis Ngannou, private in color. I used to say Anthony Rumble Johnson was the biggest power threat in UFC history. Daniel Francis Ngannou's next level, man. Oh, it's unbelievable. He blitzes you, 
And once he gets his hands on these guys, they just go out. Because Stipe, we talked about it, greatest of all time. We said if he loses, he'd probably deserve a rematch. But, man, the idea of a John Jones fight seems awfully exciting right now. Though, when discussing freak talent, John Jones is never far from the conversation either. Uh, you, you beat the most successful heavyweight champion of all time. You knock him out. And then a second later, we're talking about the next one. And it's John Jones. He's a man to win and he has done that over and over and over again against the best light heavyweights on the planet earth like francis there was little in the way of an amateur career for jones he would learn the art of war in the deep end of the pool against names like quinto machida other than rashad i don't see anybody beating this kid straight up because um I, I thought he was all hype uh straight up I'm keeping it real here. I thought he was all hype. The kid is tough. He's very talented. I'm reaching for a level of greatness that I've never dared to reach for in the past. By just 23, Jones had become the youngest champion in UFC history. And it is all over! John Jones is the youngest champion in UFC history! Beginning a sadistic run of oblique kicks and arm bars that poised him as one of the greatest of all time before his 30th birthday. He's an outstanding wrestler, he's a creative striker, and he's a champion. You let your peers down, your co-workers down, you let yourself down, it's never over. As long as you never quit, it's never over. I'm back here. Also, like Francis, Jones faced a dark period, one that came later in life, invited by the temptations that so often accompany fame and fortune. What I would like to see is some kind of personal healing. I want to see John learn from this. He's not a bad person, you know? Man, he had it all, but just didn't see it. Jones's greatest opponent is ultimately himself, and his legacy risks being dwarfed by his numerous controversies. He's always been this crazy. He's always been this crazy. When the old king becomes complacent, it takes war to wake him up. Going up to heavyweight may just be the motivation John needs to show the world why he is the greatest of all time. If you want to know what it feels like to get your ass kicked by a guy who weighs 40 pounds less than you, meet me in the octagon. If you think that John Jones is going up to take on Engano and he's just going to go get ran over, that's just that's not what you're going to see. His in-cage IQ is undoubtedly his greatest weapon. There is no problem he can't solve be it Olympic wrestlers, jiu-jitsu legends, or hard-hitting berserkers. If he can harness this in-cage intelligence effectively against Francis, deep elbow slices and torn cartilage will surely follow. If you, if you believe that you have something that is special, that is even a, a gift from your higher power, then stop questioning it because yeah, it's insulting to the, your creator that you believe that he will put limitations on what he's giving sure. you. If you're picking Engano, then you're saying Engano's gonna knock out John Jones. If he can't knock him out, though, there's no way he beats him. Wait, so you're saying if Francis can't knock out Jones, Jones wins via decision? He, he wins a fight. It's like, yeah, Francis Engano is dangerous, yes. I believe that he has a chance to knock me the fuck out. Let's say, let's say that out loud. But um, if I don't get knocked out, I believe I win that fight. I just gotta get through round one. The physical differences between the two may at first appear minute. But the consequences of those small differences are huge. As I said before, I'm back. And you're gonna see me around again. Hey, for everybody who brought a break bone shirt, take it back now. You want to see money. Both men stand at six foot four with an inch and a half separating them in reach. Facing a fighter with such long reach is certainly a new challenge for Jones, whose freakish wingspan combined with fighting at a smaller weight class has meant that range has never been an issue. Whether Francis can exploit this remains to be seen. I think Ngannou has a chance to be a crossover superstar. And if he beat John Jones, he would occupy the same space in people's minds that Mike Tyson once did, that Joe Lewis once did, that the icons in boxing once did. We can't talk about the physical differences between these two without mentioning the weight. Jones will likely enter with a 15 to 20 pound weight disadvantage, one that will certainly impact his ability to wrestle. Stipe Miocic went against Daniel Cormier, towered over him. He looked like a welterweight standing yeah. next yeah. to Ngannou. It's time! 
Um, and Francis is already a tight end, and I'm trying to become a tight end. That's you know? So, wait a so, minute. Wait a minute. You're t I, I want to look like a tight end. I want, oh, you I want, okay? That's that's different. I want to be the same size as this guy, if not bigger, when we get out there. Francis lives up to his nickname of the Predator, applying pressure to back up his prey. His most recent fight showed improved entries and angles to surprise an already on edge opponent. Head kicks, leg kicks, really good grappling, takedown defense, scary. Yeah. However, a veteran tactician like John Jones is unlikely to be overly shook up by the Predator's presence and pressure. He may use it against him by trying to throw him off balance and shooting for takedowns at the right time. Jones's stance also has its pros and cons. He stands strong with a wide base. His arms extend to control the distance and disguise his entries. But the slow footwork of Jones has landed him in trouble before. Oh! And a fast pitcher like Nganu could take advantage. Can you just have a gun? UFC heavyweight champion of the world! Like all physical comparisons in the fight game, the real differences can only be seen when the cage door closes. Francis is a monster of a guy. I think he's faster than John Jones. A heavyweight title fight that the sport has been waiting for. With two men equally excited to prove themselves to the world. John Jones comes out and said uh, to Francis and Gano, those haymakers don't work on me, send the contract. The idea that John Jones could either capture the heavyweight title and cement himself as the greatest to ever do it or experience his first real loss in a likely catastrophic manner makes this the must-see fight in 2021. That's it. Jones has That's regained it. the throne! Oh, this is bad news! That's what? it! Will the rising lion defend his territory? Oh. Or will the old veteran use his brain, staying one step ahead to complete the prophecy that was set out before him years ago?